be my hero. I should switch my uh, profession. I should start singing, shouldn't I? Maybe I might get better. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's me. It's me, Majority, out here for another video. Holy smokes, can you believe it? It's been a big respite. I've been getting my breath. Busy month, October. Some of you know it, some of you don't. But, uh, you know, I scheduled content all through the month of October, and I missed my first Friday uh, yesterday. So if I finish this table topics, I'm going to post it today. Choo! This is Majority, my channel where I make content about video games and do all sorts of content, table topics, which we are doing today. What better way to return to the table of YouTube than with Table Topics, a series where I invite you, the viewer, to partake in some video game related topic. And before I talk to you about today's topic, just make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Every little bit helps. It helps me, encourage me to make more content, to continue to grow the channel, and to build my own algorithm, whatever that means. I don't fully understand it, but I kind of do. This one's for Terry, 309. He submitted a table topic for me to bring the table topics back. And just be mindful that you can make a video response, and I will add it to the community table topics playlist. He asked the question, what game would you introduce to someone who has never played a video game before? Excellent question, Terry, and I've got quite the response. Before I tell you what the game is, I want to go over some of my thought process into this. I think that with um, an introduction video game, we first have to parse out, like, is this somebody who is versed in technology? Is it somebody from, like, you know, a civilization where they don't really have as much tech or gadgets or cell phones or that kind of things because you know we're in 2021 now and i feel like you know most people play like have access to to games and have probably played some version of a video game in some sense but if we're talking about somebody who's like completely out of the loop never played one never held a controller in their hand i mean you know i i think the goal is to get them interested in playing more games now, I like RPGs, but I don't think like a turn-based RPG is, or even action RPG is necessarily the best way to go. I think it can be too convoluted in some senses. Uh, I think the best thing to do is do something that's a bit more entry level, where there's multiple modes of enjoyment and also um, where they really can buy into the fun of the video games and just the medium and also enjoying challenge, etc. And what better game to do that? Then F-Zero GX, hell to the yes, GX, a childhood favorite of mine. Now I know many of you are thinking, are you insane? Are you insane, Teddy? Um, maybe, I don't know. But I do have rationale for F-Zero GX as a first video game. You know, like I said, the goal should be to get somebody to want to play more games. And I think even within F-Zero GX, it can be so challenging, some of the Grand Prix modes, uh, if especially as you go up in difficulties, the story mode is quite difficult. I didn't finish it until I was like 20 something um, in my life. I didn't finish it when I was a teenager. When I was a teenager, I got to chapter seven. I was like, what the hell is this? This is <laughs> how are you supposed to beat Black Shadow and Blood Falcon as the top two contenders when they're just like, boom, you know, like they just zoom right past you. But I do think that one of the beauties of F-Zero GX is that it really invites the player to come back and to really tackle uh, the game had on the multiple modes. I remember putting lots of time into Grand Prix. I didn't even look at story mode for a long time. I just loved the courses. I loved the soundtrack. It was very kind of like uh, new metal esque, I guess. I don't know. I'm multi master. Correct me on that. But I loved F Zero GX as a child. As a child, it wasn't my first game, but I do think it was a beautiful game. And I think a racer, a racing game, and a sci-fi racing game. Uh, can be a really good way to introduce players uh, to video games and also kind of just the endearing nature of the characters Captain Falcon he's a classic but then also the entire rest of the roster Samurai Goro he's kind of like you know goofy kind of like uh, drunk uh, space pirate guy um, and then you, you know you, every one of these characters has some lore you can really spend some time just getting to know them based on their character profiles etc and um, just th there's some really great courses and uh, you can spend lots of time in the garage and earning tickets to buy more stuff and it, like it sounds convoluted but actually there's multiple ways to enjoy the game and there's just so many uh, great aspects of F-Zero GX. F-Zero GX is a favorite of mine. It is fantastic. I love it and I know Terry's gonna like that one. 
Anyways, that's my response to what video game would I introduce to somebody who has never played a video game before. Almost like a starter video game or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to think of some creative title for this. But what would you pick as a video game to introduce to someone who has never played a video game before? Look forward to more content from me. We're kicking it back. We're bringing it back. I am full spirit, full speed ahead, baby. Let's go, Captain Falcon style. Choo! <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. And stay tuned for more Table Topics to come.